Hey y'all, it's Kwaku here, and for today's video, we'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to download Kingdom Hearts 3 mods into your game. First things first, you want to have Kingdom Hearts 3 installed, obviously. You can buy it from Epic Game Store, and that's the only place you can buy it from. Sorry, it's not on Steam. And uh, this only works on PC, it doesn't work on consoles. Uh, once you have the game, you can hold, head over to Nexus Mods, and uh, when you head over here, you also want to download this uh, app called RenRAR, or any kind of RAR that can extract files. Because if you don't download RenRAR, then you will not be able to play Kingdom Hearts 3 mods onto your game. It's required to extract about every file in, in Nexus Mods. Let's start by downloading, uh, let's search up page 2 store by Richie. And then once you do that, you can read all you want down here. It, it tells you all the details. Richie has a change log, so you, know, you can see what's been updated. It just tells you everything, uh, installation, how you install. I'll go through that. So to download this mod, you want to have an account. If you don't have an account, then you get a download. You don't need to download premium or update to premium. It doesn't matter. I, I don't have premium, I'm just free. So download it's okay it's only 1.5 megabytes it's not that big before we download if you want to see like what's inside the files you can preview the files and you can see what's what's inside the rar so it should be pack files once you go here you can either click mango download right here or just files down here once you do this just download it and do like a five second countdown while it's downloading search up Kingdom Hearts, your file, your PAX files, it should be, it's mostly around your local disk, mine's in the backup. <laughs> anyway, once you go to your local disk, wherever, look up Epic Games, and you're going to want to click on cage uh, under slash three, go to Kingdom Hearts three, content, PAX. Once you're here, you want to create a new folder, just like this, mods, uh, fix that, yeah, mods, and once you do that, that's all you have to do. This is where all your mods are going to be. Most of the time, we're not really sure if anything flex with each other, so you're just going to have to figure that out. You might get an error. If you get that error, whoever you download it from, you can go to post and, you know, add a comment to them, like, Oh no, Richie, the mod isn't working. Maybe the reply back doesn't look like your error. Now it's done, what we're gonna do is H2 Sora. If you don't see like a render like that, then what you wanna do is open with. And it should pop up with render. You open that and pop up with that. So Richie has two versions a base and all in one. Base is basically if you want to play through the main story. All in one, use it for remind because if you don't, then Sora's body is going to stretch like crazy. Once we've made that mod store, we can go ahead and drag it like that. We don't want one of these, we want one of them so it's like more consistent. So we just go with the base for now. But once you do that, that's it. You got your mod downloaded and Pull up the game and see what happens. 